Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. I'm here again with Nevenim. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Death sounds straight away. But, do we want to do anything special today or is this going to be a regular old run? What do you what feel we like? What do you feel like, dude? I don't know. He's, he's, he's been in a bit of a salt state lately. So he deserves, he deserves like... I've been playing Inscription Sometimes. and I sucked at it for a real long time and people are going to really hate the videos because I do a lot of things wrong and I've recorded them all prior to uploading any of them. So there is going to be some frustrated people that know how to play the game watching me completely fail. <laughs> but yeah, people I, are going to hate him because he does a lot of sucking. I do uh, a lot of sucking. But I beat Act 1 now and I'm, I'm happy. Um, I really enjoyed it so far. It's it's it, it, it's good game. People didn't lie. It good game. Um, yeah. He was he was throwing a bit of a tantrum like a little itty bitty baby there for a minute, but I think he's getting he's think he's warming up to it. Basically, I I'm I'm still not completely sold on the first act combat. I think it, I think it could do with some more things to make it a little less repetitive. Maybe some like varying bosses, which I realize for the story purpose isn't going to happen. But it'd be nice to have so some please, varying bosses. Uh, please don't spoil. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm not, Turtle I'm not. on. Yeah. Do not spoil me on, on anything, anything after, after Act, Act one. 1. And I'll try not to spoil anyone while I'm talking about it here, but it could do with some varying bosses. And I also just didn't understand Slash hadn't unlocked some really core mechanics that made the game significantly yeah. easier once I did. So I was getting a little just frustrated. Have the uh, head. I was getting yeah, and I was getting a little frustrated at things that I really shouldn't have been getting frustrated at. But I spent like three hours last night just playing a bunch of runs and I finally finally did it. Um, anyways, we're going to jump into this Gungeon episode to stop talking about Inscription, because I'm going to do a lot of that tonight. Anyways, let's jump on in. We'll just do a normal run for now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be recording a podcast with uh, BD1P, and we're going to be talking about Inscription quite a lot. And Nevinim's not invited, because I don't like him anymore. Yeah, I'm not good enough. <laughs> no, we'll probably have Nevinim on at some point. It makes me sad, because I am bad. Mad cause sad. Mad cause sad. We actually started with a pretty good thing here. Tanskins drop burner supplies. That's pretty oh, good yeah, early on. Yeah. Whoever made that must be really good at balance. <laughs> and then we got this thing that is making enemies a little harder for us. Yeah, for the most yeah, part, so it should be fine. That uh, chance kin effigy did get a buff at, at one point. All right, really. It has a 1% chance to spawn an additional chance kin in every room. Oh, that's great. Like, even a 1% chance is pretty huge. Yeah. Because the thing is, because over the course of a whole run, I'll probably get at least two chance kins. I don't know how many yeah, runs yeah, is there in an average Gungeon run. I don't even know. How many runs is there in runs? an average Gungeon? How many dungeon? rooms? I, I think don't even you know. answered your own question. There like, is one run per run. One run per run. But like, in terms of rooms, you like, because obviously you get an increasing amount per floor, like, or roundabouts at least. So, how many rooms is there in a whole run? I've never actually thought about that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure myself. I just sort of, like, counted up the rooms on one floor and it was like 20 on one floor. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. Yeah, I think I think a hundred is a uh, well one percent one in a hundred rooms is a pretty good amount. Hello there. For a D tier. Hello there. <laughs> that was pretty nice. Mirror Hello bullets. my baby, my honey. Hello my ragtime gal. <laughs> Mirror bullets still functions exactly the same as you remember it functioning. I just the only thing I did to balance it is give it curse and move it into a higher tier. Nice. It's still just as broken. I love it. I love it. Yeah, nesting chest is uh, basically a way for us to spawn chests. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it does cost a key, though. And it can give us a completely random tier. So we really want to be using it after we've seen the chests on that floor. But yeah. This is going to be a pretty fucking good run, I think. A lot better yeah, than my yeah. last episode. Ne Nevenim wasn't there, so I died. That was exactly why. Yeah. You didn't have the luck. To like be fair, a lucky charm. It has it has kind of gotten to the point now where Never Named is on like 80% of the of the Gungeon episodes I do. Yeah, it sucks. Why don't you do more without me? 
I, don't, I think it's it's one. It's because obviously I just I think Gungeon for me has gotten not not like completely stale. Obviously, there's still modded stuff going on, but it's gotten stale enough where like I only want to record it on my own like every now and again. Whereas recording it with you is a lot more enjoyable. Uh, and also, obviously, you've got a lot to say about a lot of the modded stuff, which I think for a lot of the people that are still watching this series, the modded stuff is quite a big part of why they're watching. Um, you know, sometimes I just want to sit down, relax, and listen to some asshole talk uh, about modded stuff without me having to also be there. <laughs> uh, and then another thing is, is usually this is like the because of when I release the series, the timing of us recording kind of works out quite well. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, well, we, we, we also we also want to get back to recording some. Um, ooh, hello. Uh, do you know what? Oh no, we're on cast three actually. I'm not going to take another piece of cast. Yeah. Um, we want to get back to recording some more uh, Half Life Two at some point, probably hopefully tomorrow. I think. We're uh, yeah, we're hopefully. about. I should be uh, up late, considering that it's uh, one in the morning right now. <laughs> nice. Paraglox. That is a gun that you unlocked for doing boss rush paradox. Ooh. Okay. Right. I kind of do want a key, but also... What tier is it? It looks like it's D tier. It is C, if oh, I C recall tier, correct. okay. Wait, no, it's D tier. It's got to be. Because that's C tier, and that's 45, and this is 35. Oh, is it D tier? I guess. But it's not a bad gun. Let me check its average damage. I don't have the project open. I, I clicked to Visual Studio, expecting to see Gungeon <laughs> stuff, and obviously, since I've been modding Inscription, it's all like... Oh! Stuff. That's not, that is not a gun, that's a, that's a worm. <laughs> I'll do the boss first, how about that? It's a pretty interesting gun, it's, uh... If it's, if it's, if you think it's better than buying a key and opening the green chest, then I'll do it. I don't know if it'll be better, but it'll be more interesting. Okay, if it's going to be more interesting, I've already got a good enough run going, I'll do it. Yeah. Mirror Bullets is still definitely broken, but I yeah. think it's S tier broken. Oh, yeah, it is. Like, it's, 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 it's one of those, I think it's one of those brokens where it's interesting and fun enough to be completely okay. It's like, it's not any more powerful than the Black Hole Gun. No. And the thing is, and the Black well, Hole Gun is like, one tier below. You've got, you've got to have a gun that works well with it as well. Also, do you see how I just saved myself there, by the way? Yeah. Ooh, Boxing Glove, that's good. Is, uh, you're is, using the buff mod? Yeah, I am. Uh, I don't know if you saw what happened there, but the the um, knockoff guns, whatever they're called, when they've run out of ammo, they explode. But it exploded exactly as the boss death cutscene started, and I took no damage. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sick. Skill right there. So, the whole deal with the Paraglox is that it randomly switches between different starter guns for different characters on That's a random cool. delay. I like that and a lot. <laughs> it also has a damage buff over the basic starters so that it's not just... Not just the starters, you know, yeah. But yeah. you do get a so little it, ammo with it, right? Uh, do you? I don't think you do. Oh, no, you do. don't. No, 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 yeah, you don't. But, but that, uh, this is so a very, like, very cool idea. Wait, is it a fire rate buff as well? Uh... Some things don't necessarily work. Like, Blasphemy is a little buggy since it doesn't destroy bullets uh, in this form. But... This seems good. It's just kind of interesting. You yeah, know what this, I mean? This seems, this seems reasonably strong and a very cool idea. Yeah. Uh, so, it, it, yeah, it's on a random like, delay, so the, a this, random amount of seconds. This It'll really change. should be what Paradox's starter actually is. It'd be way better if that was the case. Obviously without the damage buff and the limited ammo, but otherwise this would be a way better idea. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, it's just, it's yeah. very unique and cool and it's very Paradox-esque. Yeah, I did try and give the shader to the gun that you're yeah, holding. Yeah, I see it. It looks pretty cool. It's a little, it's a little, yeah. I think, I think it being like a little, little, I think it being a little off is actually better though. Okay. Because it makes it look a bit glitchy, and it's kind of a glitchy type of gun, so it makes a lot of sense. Oh, uh, yes, I definitely made it look glitchy on purpose. Blood <laughs> Thinner, uh, any health that spawns while you're at full health is re-rolled into another pickup. Ooh. That is... 
potentially pretty good. I think I'll probably save up for that because I'm just thinking about it. When the boss dies, they always spawn health and I very, very, like, rarely take damage on the bosses. So, yeah, so if... Like if that, you... Then. If you are at full health... Uh, if you are not at full health, it doesn't uh, do anything. But if you are at full health, any health that drops on the floor will re-roll into a different pickup. Yeah, I like that. Idea. Uh, and as the robot, if I recall correctly, I made it just always active. Ah, that's good. Since despite not having health, the game doesn't really consider the robot to be at full health. Oh, does it not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that's why Blasphemy doesn't work for the robot, because yeah. uh, even though he doesn't have health. hearts, the game considers him to not be at full hearts. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. It's like, the way the game determines if you're at full health is... It, it's like, division. And obviously if your health value is zero, division's gonna cause some fucky shit. Yeah. Right, so we'll buy... Actually, I should probably check what my chests are before I buy that. We've got a mini boss here, though. Although, yeah, with a mini boss, it might be better off actually... Getting the blood finesse better, because they you... always drop health. And I could get, I could end up getting a key from think it, you're right? gonna take damage. Also, by health, it just mean, means hearts, not armor. Of course, armor yeah, won't that, be that, a that would be a weird thing for it to do. Oh, for God's sake. I could have just bought it. Fuck it, I'm just going to buy it. It only rerolls on the spawning of the thing, so... Yeah. Since that heart has already spawned, it's not going to immediately That's good, though, because it means we've got some left However, over back to full hit. However, there, there is a bit of a cheat. Uh... If you now get that health back out of the health machine, oh, but yeah. it won't work because you have to be at you have to be at uh, not full to get health out of the health machine. I forgot about that. Oh, okay. So there is there's a potential cheese, but it doesn't actually work. <laughs> That's kind yeah, of interesting. Cheese, I, I didn't add any code to prevent it from happening. I just also didn't realize that it would prevent it from happening on its own. Yeah. I guess I'm just that good. <laughs> And yeah, like honestly, I think I kind of overbuffed the boxing glove with my uh, boxing glove buff oh, mod. Oh yeah, but, at, but least at the same now, time, at least now it's worth at, the curse. At the same time, I don't care. Yeah, I'd rather. I, I uh, think I grabbed the wrong star there. I'd rather overbuff than underbuff. Oh yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? I think I think you've you've taken it from a completely useless weapon to a weapon that's now pretty good for its tier, which I think is completely fine. Because the thing is, it's still, it's still at the end of the day a melee weapon that you have to get reasonably close to enemies for, so having it be uh, powerful isn't a bad thing. Yeah, so remember, Blasphemy in this form doesn't Yeah, but uh, it, does break bullet. it does reflect bullets, though. Yeah, because of mirror bullets. So, it doesn't matter if it doesn't break bullets. Okay. It's got two armor from yeah. that instead, there you go. Yeah, heart re-rolled into some armor. Good to see my code is still working. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say, you still have to get reasonably close, so I still think it's not too overpowered. Well, you know, I'll leave it up to you. At the end of the day, it's also not a difficult thing to tweak if you don't like it, the specific amount that it's buffed by. Yeah, it took four, ki four like, hits to kill a gunner on this floor. I think that's fine. Like, if anyone wants to tweak it, they can just open the uh, CS project and change the exact amount that it's multiplied by. Yeah. The hell is this? Uh, fuck. Fly friend. It looks like a fly on a chain. Um, minor increase to many stats. Okay, so drop it and pick it up back up again. Uh, plus twenty percent fire rate. That's not minor, and twenty and twenty percent faster reload speed. That yeah, that's not minor at all. <laughs> Although it did double our spread. 20% reload, uh, and 5% damage. Yeah, think, that's a massive fire rate the, increase. The only thing that it's minor to is damage. Everything else, it's pretty big buffs. Another black chest. Reminds... Holy shit. Uh, yeah, that's a JoJo reference. Um, grants power in exchange for health. Remember, uh... 
It's okay. Oh, then. you are now on very damage. Yep. Remember the arrowhead for, we got a couple yes, runs I do, ago? Yeah. They're both a reference to the same thing. And that reference is JoJo. Like, holy shit! Oh, yeah, the boxing glove definitely isn't overpowered. <laughs> Just basically yeah, one shot the boss. You smacked him once in his little ana uh, anaconda ass, and now he is almost dead. You have crippled a man today. Yeah, I managed to do some stuff to make uh, Paraglox mimic its respective gun a little bit more closely, but at the same time, that requires effort. Chamber gun's gonna be pretty good for us here. Um, armor. I think the full health thing now that I've got very low maximum HP is gonna be super useful. Hopefully. I think I'll just go with the shotgun there in. Right. Eh. Open up. <laughs> Give me, give me, give me a back. Come on, open up. You little bitch. Well, let, me, let me reach inside your mouth and rip out your heart. It is kind of nice that the game provides you with a way to stop that being abused. <laughs> Curse of the Hive. The game didn't provide me with anything, it just did it. Funny. Oh, rat floor. <laughs> But you killed the rat and it slowed him down underneath him. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty strong. Yeah, honey does have a natural lifespan, I believe, in the current version. It's just a pretty long lifespan. Yeah, I, I, was, gonna, I was just about to suggest that, but I'm, I'm gonna say I'm fairly sure. Fairly sure we mentioned that last time I got the honey, honey curse and you changed it, didn't you? Yeah, we would mentioned it last time you got the cunny curse. Cunny. Oh, goddamn. No, thank you, sir. Yeah, shotguns are really good with mirror bullets as well. Uh, it's interesting how you can fire it, and because of mirror bullets, none of the bullets hit the enemy, but it still dies. <laughs> yeah. There's no need to hit enemies where we're going. Boom. Oh, we got a thingy over here. Didn't even see that. Uh, a dude! Uh, the honey. So speaking of Inscription, I have been considering adding some things inspired by Inscription to my mod when I get back to That'll it. That would be pretty cool. One of them, obviously, is uh, the camera. Yeah. But I also have considered something like uh, the, fi the campfire from Inscription, but with regards to guns instead. Okay. So... You can, uh, like a shrine sort of thing where you have a chance to, what is this? The blast shower. Sh Damage all enemies in a room and apply the player's effects onto enemies. A quick way, quick and easy portable shower in intended for Gunjunis. I think this means that like, I, I don't know. I, I think it means like one of you, like bullet effects are applied to everything in the room. You know what I mean? Yeah, like if you yeah had... I'm still going to stick with my chest spawning device. Yeah, I mean, two S tier items. I think I'm just getting unbelievably lucky, but still. But yeah, uh, some some way to have the option of buffing, up specific uh, guns. buffing a specific gun, but... <clears throat> Each time you you can use it subsequent times, and each time you use it has a chance to I think destroy having the that gun. as a as an NPC sort of gun muncher style thing would be a good idea. I do want to do that, but it would require me to figure out some sort of NPC gun muncher style thing, which is difficult. Yeah, true. But I do want to do that, and I, I have like the basis of an idea of how to do it, but not quite fully. It is only the basis. Yeah. You fucked you. I love that it's like pulling them through the slowing honey. <laughs> Dragging around. Why doesn't slow affect minecarts? Come on now. God damn, how did they not pre-program that in? I swear I gave honey 
uh, natural lifespan. Maybe I didn't? I don't know. I gotta say, it does seem to Is last a very long time. Did I add an extra zero by accident? Maybe. Maybe it just lasts for like... Fucking a hundred thousand seconds or something <laughs> stupid. You've just like added a crazy amount of zeros onto it. I fell asleep on the keyboard, woke up to three yeah. pages of zeros and decided it was good enough. <laughs> Oh, hello there. Shoddy lighter. That's almost definitely an it's a blazy active. Item, right, isn't it? Oh, maybe it's not an active then if it's a blazy item, because actives are more difficult, and blazy doesn't like difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm messing, I'm messing around, but at the same time, yes. Yeah. I'm also not wrong, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I? I don't know, the sprite just looks blazy-esque to me. Although, to be fair, Blazy has since got much, much better at spriting since then. <laughs> like, her Gungeon, her Gungeon sprites compared to her Isaac sprites, the Isaac sprites are, like, a lot better. Blazy's also sort of retreated into a little alcove on the edges of society, and nobody's heard from them in a while. What? Blazy's, like, active in my Discord server every single day. Again, not in modding. Which is... Yeah, I, I, I gotta say, I don't think Blazy's really into Gungeon modding too much anymore. She's really um, kind of taken Isaac modding a little further. She's doing quite a lot of cool stuff in Isaac modding. And it's it's kind of sad because like, you know, it, it's it's nice to have her around. Ooh. Fuck is that? I'm gonna say yeah. Like I've I've stolen Blazy now. Blazy's around around in my parts. A common theme with mad. Oh, get Blazy out of your parts, you pervert. <laughs> Form of weapon that would be able to hear balls in reality. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> well, that's pretty fucking cool. I gotta say, Ooh. I quite like it. <laughs> also, Rift Taker. Is it a reference to something? No, I don't. I don't know. Oh, for fuck's sake, game. I could be like this. If only there was something you could have killed. Give me that ammo. Ooh, glitchy ammo. It's just sitting inside of the chest. They're sort of overlapping. Right, this this thing seems reasonably strong. It destroyed a chest in like two hits. Yeah, but it also looks like it's pretty low range. It's very low range, yeah, but it is, yeah, it, it is doing good. I also, can't remember that I've got 3D, double damage. Is it a 3D model? Oh, it does damage over time. One of them isn't going away, it's yeah. just sitting there, and I'm scared. Is it capable of damaging things that aren't, like... Because it looks like AoE damage. Oh, dear. That's oh, a lot of honey. <laughs> It's not gonna go away. I've got a kind of a path. Ah! Oh my lord! I don't know what's going on with that one. Uh, that one rift yeah. in space time. <laughs> it's it just like chilling there. Actually. There's one. There's one beneath it as well. Odd. I don't know what's going on, and I'm scared. I think that Guanstone was health that got rerolled because you can't normally yeah, get I Guanstones so from bar strips. Nice. Okay. Next floor. I wish I was getting more keys. I'll say that because the nesting chest really isn't being that good right now. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously it's been very good in past floors, but we're not really getting to use it much. I'm, I'm pretty certain that it can reroll health into keys. It just yeah. Has I would. I, I'm gonna say that, that. That's kind of the biggest reason I took it. Cause, like, getting extra keys would be super useful with this nesting chest. I mean, you know, luck will be what luck is. And bad luck will also be what it is. Indeed. A little shit! <laughs> yeah, like some sort of, as I was saying earlier, some sort of way to buff specific guns. I think that'd be really fun. Would be the, 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 the one thing that, like... I mean, you don't have to do this, but the one thing that would be nice is making it so like like the uh, campfires it can buff different stats but i don't know how you'd signify what stats it's buffing 
Maybe just in a voice line from an NPC sort of thing. I'm not sure. Like, again, what what stats are are valuable to a gun? Damage is the most. I, I valuable. would just say damage and fire rate. You, they're, they're the they're the two that you want to change. Yeah. Uh, maybe magazine size as well, because obviously having getting extra magazine size on a gun that normally only has one or very low would be very powerful. But then again, like if you get a black hole gun and you can make it a three magazine, but you risk losing the black hole gun, that could be pretty interesting. Same Maybe. With like like I think. Well, you see, it is. I. I uh, it's it's a Fucking difficult thing to. Stop! Why are they all fused? I realize I have curse, but like, can you not? because you have a, a nesting chest and the game knows you can just spawn yeah. into the chest. It's like, oh, if you're going to have them, then I'm not just going to give them to you. But yeah, I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be a, a, a very... A, a, like, at least doing damage and fire rate would be like the big two. I know that fire rate doesn't apply to every gun, but... No, I will buff the gun's health. Um, I picked up something then. I don't know what. It wasn't a key, though. Was it a blank? Yeah, it might be actually. Oh god. Yeah, because you have, have three blanks, and I don't think you have anything that increases the amount that you start with. I think it was a blank. Seems likely. Eh. Minute gun. Ooh. You can use 60. It's a pretty powerful pistol, but can you can I, only can, use it. Does it, it, lose, does it lose ammo when I put it away still? No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh. So, the, the timer only ticks down when you're holding it. I think that'll be a very potent boss killer. Hello, Gun Fairy. What are you doing here? That's uh, such a, a weird effect, but I love it. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, I think the, the only thing that's weird about it is how it overlaps. It overlaps a bit weirdly. Bunny, how did you get good at visual effects, and where can I do it? Where can Chance I get good? Chance oh, Chance finally. Hey. So how are you liking the blood thinner? Very much so. I think, especially because I got the the thing that removed all my health, it's been even more useful. But like, it's kind of one of those like things that kind of buffs itself. You you get a full health, so your health gets rerolled into armor, so you're less likely to to get below full health, so you're more likely to get more armor and other things, and it kind of plays into itself quite nicely. I think it's also because you're just not you're just good at not getting hit. Yeah, that's true. That also helps quite a lot. Because obviously, if you were taking more damage, it would be a lot less useful. Yeah, it's what uh, it's one of those items where I, I kind of like it. Like it's it's slightly risk reward, but it's it's also kind of like the rich get richer, and I kind of like those items in roguelikes where if you, you play... like it when the rich get richer. <laughs> yeah. If you play good, if you if you do like something right, then you're gonna get a lot out of it. It's kind of like how um, the metronome works, where like if you if you are playing well, it becomes easier to do well. This is a really horrible combination of enemies. Yeah, but metronome sucks. Metronome sucks in the fact that it doesn't allow variety. In terms of actually being an item, it's a very good item. Yeah, but metronome is smell. Is smell. If you have a good metronome, gun, it's pretty fun. Metronome is stimp. It is stimp. stimp. Yeah, I always like uh, items like that in games where, like, I think, I think uh, Retrash added one that was my idea for, to his pack, which is I think the Ring of Discipline. The longer you can go without rolling. Oh, that, that one that doesn't work. <laughs> Does it not work? Oh, sorry. Uh, it's probably fixed by now, but I remember a lot of things early on after it came out where it was just, like, half broken all the time. <laughs> and so that's... Because... Uh, that's completely unfair on Read Trash, but because my brain is a caveman brain, it uh, definitely associates, like, the initial not working with... Yeah. Oh, it, it just... I guess it always doesn't work anymore. Take less damage, fake your death, and cloak yourself upon taking damage. I guess that's when you get hit, you stealth? Probably. I don't know what take less damage means, though. Does it mean I have a chance to not take damage when I get hit? I guess you take less damage because they're not shooting at you? Yeah, I suppose so. In a roundabout way, that kind of works. Well, 
Or maybe it's just insulting your skill and telling you to take less damage, five hit. <laughs> oh, you, you said that and immediately oh, took damage. Yep. You you <laughs> did, did self, stealth for a second there, but rolled. you yeah you yep. were rolling, so you unstealthed immediately. That's pretty useful though. We can we can steal some stuff. I love this room. The fucking, it's such a bad design. They have that Grim Reaper spawning, and it always spawns in as everything dies. It's funny. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Now you're gonna use the nesting chest and get a uh, brown chest. Yeah, I was hoping it'd just give me health so I could reroll it into a key or something. Right, let's play this dude. You have the money? Yeah, yeah you do. How the fu- Um... Excuse me? <laughs> maybe drop mirror bullets. <laughs> um, Just I drop can't mirror right bullets now. for I now. I can't right now. Oh, there you go. You can. There you go. Drop it and, and try again because <laughs> I, I'm not- Excuse me? Quite sure? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This isn't fair. You bitch! Uh, what items do you have right now? <laughs> That's not fair. Just, just um, talk about your items. None of them that affect my, my bullets apart from mirror bullets. Oh right, one, one minute. Okay, I'm just going to have to uh, quickly pause the recording a sec. One second. Right, uh, yeah, I don't know what's caused that. Hello? Oh, no, no, it isn't back either. <laughs> one second. Okay, we're actually back now. Yeah, what the, yeah, what the uh, diggity hell happened there? I don't know. Presumably some sort of pre-collision error. Maybe check the console. Boom. It, uh, useless jargon. Not useful. You can send me the output log later and I'll at least yeah. check it. Okay. Bit strange. Well, I mean, do you want to spawn in like a green chest or something? I guess yeah. Because I've 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 seen you do that, and I can at least say that you. Wait no, let's let's do this. Spawn. Um. Ah, oh, damn it! I wanna I wanna. No, do you know what? Let's finish the boss, and I'll just give myself a key and use the nesting chest. So then I get a random tier. Okay, I was just saying, you know, given your demonstrable skill level, I think a green chest is pretty fair. Ugh. To be fair, on those things I normally get at least uh, um, a red chest. I was just kind of, I just kind of gave up after the fact that I realized I couldn't win. Yeah, so minute gun isn't super powerful, but it's a pretty solid. It's pretty solid for infinite ammo for sixty seconds. Yeah. Is it only sixty seconds of refreshing each floor? Refreshes each floor. Nice. So okay. it's it. You get a minute of usage each floor. Yeah, that's really good. Well, there you go, then. <laughs> you got your key back. And you're now at six curse. Love but it. hey, you can deflect bullets now. I can. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. Right, um... Yeah, uh, so where I went when Turtle just came back and started recklessly recording with Abandon, <laughs> uh, I just went and got a drink. Nice. Yeah, I, I took a, while Nevenin was doing that, I took a brief break to watch someone's stream that I was linked that is playing my, um, my uh, custom rooms mod, my secret rooms. And telling you how terrible it is. No, they were, they were giving me high praise. Do you know, I actually realized I hadn't checked in ages. Of, like, I, I finally checked it, like, last week. I basically, after the initial boom of the secret room mods doing well, I'd never really been back to them apart from to see some comments every now and again. And I checked the downloads and holy Fuck! Like what? Like the the normal secret rooms mod is like the on the front page for most popular. Nice. It's got like it's got like seventeen thousand downloads. You're famous. I was like, holy shit! Like I knew people liked it and it did well when it came out, but like last I checked, it was at like four thousand downloads. Um, and yeah, it's at like 17,000 now, and like, if you go to custom rooms, it's on the front page. I think it's like second or third most popular. You know, I guess that's just because you're so good. It is. No, to be fair, I am, I am really proud of them. <laughs> and also, Neonomi, um, a pretty big uh, Russian Isaac YouTuber, helped me a lot with, um, with sort of 
balancing some of the less balanced ones. Um, we slightly made them slightly rarer, because one thing, I made them rare, I think I set their weight at 0 0.05, uh, so like 5% chance like finding them compared to a normal secret room. But, it, but because there's only like 32 regular vanilla secret rooms, and my mod added 115, the rarity was kind of skewed, because it was a lower chance to find them, but there were so many more of them that they were occurring a little too often. So I, I made them a little more rare, um, and then we we rebalanced some of the ones that were a little overpowered. Oh, ho, 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 my beauty, my baby, my sweet. Oh, there's also the key bullet effigy in there, right? Yeah, that's a synergy, doesn't it? Yeah. Really? Really? Oh, speak of the key bullet. Okay, that was close. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, it spawned one on where you are. That one can stay there, so I don't need it. Yeah, so the, uh, synergy makes it so that whenever you kill a key or chance can, you get, like, plus 5% damage. Oh, yeah. That's, that that would have been pretty good as a synergy if we got it early on, but right now it's not so good. I mean, bullet hole is probably going to at least spawn a couple. But, True, yeah. True, but I'd rather buy the mini, mini Nomicon because it's, like, my favorite item of all time. I didn't make the mini Nomicon, so I it's know. bad. Strafe made it, and she made it for me, because I wanted it. <laughs> yeah, well, and she came I up with, didn't. She came up with, like, I didn't come up with, like, the name mini Nomicon or Sprite or anything. She came up with all of that, and it's a super cool idea for it. I really like the idea. Yeah, but I didn't make it. All the things that you make kind of suck. It's why I'm not using any of your guns right now. Remember that episode where I threw all of your weapons in the, in the, in the pit? So I was mad at you. Yeah. That's me all the it time. Made me, it made me feel depressed. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically just like, hey, if you don't fix this, I'm going to throw your shit in the trash. Turtle exacerbates my depression. Oops. You can use the <laughs> nesting chest again. Yeah, I can. And boom. Oh, my lord. Re nesting chest needs a fucking rebound. Also, okay. can you kill the blacksmith with this? I'm pretty sure I can, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye to nesting chest for now because I just got something really good. Um it, this does let you steal, doesn't it? I think so, but killing the NPC also gives you curse, so probably best to uh Just buy that for now. Uh, well I was gonna say use the stealth pocket watch, take some damage, and then come back in here, but you could also just buy it, I guess. Well, I have the money. I can just do that again and then steal the other thing. My curse is going to get pretty out of whack here. Um, right. You're at 8.5. You okay, are got... definitely going to die. Shoot me, you fuck. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> can You're I just, so like, good you can't even take... I don't does know, maybe. It does, but you need to get over the uh, gap it's now. Me on the wrong side of the gap. Where's one of these little fire pit things? Where? There you go. If it has spawned there in spikes we go. out, I fucking shit myself. <laughs> right. Now we can grab this. There we go. 9.5. That's probably not going to be a massive... I'm a oh, there was a secret room in that room you that you threw yourself into the pit on. Ooh. I, ju Hello. I just saw it on the map oh, yeah, when you yeah. teleported. Oh, yeah, Nice. Okay. A silver lining, I suppose. Uh, that was on purpose. No, 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 you don't need the self anymore, Turtle. Trust me, the secret <laughs> room's not going to kick you out. <laughs> so now you're actually... Oh, I guess not. I was about to say, now you're actually at risk of... Yeah, meet the starter pistol. Nice. It's genuinely stupid, and it only has infinite ammo because it has starter in the name, and I thought it would be funny. <laughs> um, let's go back to using this a bit. Could maybe use this. Why does this one suck so much? Um, boom. Erish. I love how... I love how the bomb just makes the enemy's brain dead. <laughs> yeah. That's from the... Uh, Mini Nomicon. I was about to say from the... Uh, fucking... The, the, the thing I, I made. Yeah. The destroyer. Because... Uh, the Galaxy Crusher. I can't even remember the names of my own items. Oh, disc! 
Everybody get down, there's a disc. Oh shit, there is. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. <laughs> it bounces for so long as well. Oh, it's still going. That's, that's, the, that's the point. Fear the disc. Yeah, I could tell that that uh, black hole was from my Galaxy Crusher because the that effect on the back of it, didn't it? Yeah, has the trails. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was one of Bunny's things that just the, went off. A spore, spore missile. Yeah, the spore missile. It was. Oh, you just spawned a portal. Oh, hello. Yeah, I did. And it's releasing blanks. This is why I love Mininomicon, because it just allows you to see all the modded bullet effects and just like loads of bullet effects. It's, it's so fun. It's really overpowered, yeah, but it, it's so fun. It allows you to see all the modded bullshit, I mean bullet effects. <laughs> oh, there's a pop gun bullet. I've also got a, a wire hanging into the next room. Yeah, there. that's that's the pop gun bullet. <laughs> pop gun shoots bullets on a wire that come back into the gun when you reload. Ah, okay. Yeah, and I, I love mini Omicron with stuff like this, like a shotgun. Just so good. So I think you got like a, a bullet in the other room as well. The bullet. Oh yeah, from the bullet. Yeah, room. from the bulladera. Yeah. Bullet man. Na 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 na. Bullet man. And mirror bullets here is a downgrade because you can't fucking hit the thing. <laughs> yeah, I need to have widespread. Thank you. I'm getting so much ammo. I don't think I've seen um, the the health thing give me a key once, unfortunately. Almost certain it can. I'll, I'll check the code. Let me, let me, let me take a look. It is called the Blood Thinner. It'll be under passive items in my folders. I have to do this because I have so much stuff. I genuinely can't find half of it when I'm looking <laughs> for it. Blood Thinner. Yeah. Ooh, maiden rifle. Nice. It can spawn uh, ammo, spread ammo, glass quant stones, armor, blanks, or keys. So it can definitely spawn keys. It's just not done it so far. Ah. You've just been game. unlucky. Big sad. See, Big you sad. compliment me sometimes, and it's like, it's an abusive relationship, because you compliment me sometimes, and then you abuse me other times, and it makes me feel sad. <laughs> just gotta get used to the abuse, I guess. You sound, Basically, you're a big mean stinky Literally, food. it sounds exactly like an abusive relationship. He's nice to me sometimes. You don't know what we're like, but it's just the two of us. Oh, he's so, he's so gentle when he beats me. <laughs> he at least makes sure the bruises are hidden. God, this is getting dark. We should stop talking. <laughs> no, I think, I think we haven't gone far enough, quite frankly. We haven't gone far enough. Uh, you spawned, like, multiple sequential master's gunshots there. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah, I do like that Ooh, you can... Yeah. Oh god, is this going to be one of the exploding ones? No, 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 I don't think it is. It's not going to hurt my ears forever. Yeah, well, you may be mean, but I'm going to give you tinnitus. Probably. My mum has really bad tinnitus, so... Uh... I don't know. I have mild tinnitus. It's not mm. like really bad and I don't need any sort of anything for it, but occasionally I get some really nasty ringing. I am. Um, my like... my mum has it like really bad where basically if there's like multiple noises going on at once, she basically can't hear anything. Yeah, I don't have it all the time and it's not really bad. I just have like a very mild form of it. Yeah. Because when I was a kid, I did not know that, like, obviously I knew that, oh, listening to really loud things can hurt your ears, but I'm like, I don't listen to music that loud, right? Uh, it turns out I did listen to music a bit louder than I should have. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to kill ah. him? 
I was like, maybe, but then I was like, maybe not, actually, because... You want the Lord of the Chained? Yeah, that'll be the Lord of the Chained, probably not a great idea. Get out of here. Also, I'm now not at full health, so I should probably actually buy some health before I leave. I don't think I you am. can now, because you've... Oh, no, you still can buy. It's it's stealing after you've murder. Remember, kids, it's only stealing <laughs> after the murder. <laughs> If you rob a star, but they, you leave them alive, it's fine. It's not really stealing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. These are the rules we live by. These are the rules I live by. <laughs> Your rules are, are entirely distorted and inhuman. Inhuman? Yes. I don't think I don't see your hooves. Cloven hooves. I always forget how powerful this bloody thing is. Too powerful. <laughs> Way too fucking powerful. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, I don't care. And they're just like, you've made it to bullet you do... hell, free win. You do have times two damage, so. I do, yeah, that is making it much more powerful. But it, even still, it's just, it's not just how powerful it is, it's how I'm ammo sorry, efficient I'm sorry. it is. I'm sorry, I shouldn't disrespect the fly. Times 2.5. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and also you five. have... Uh, speaking of the fly, uh, that actually is also increasing its damage because beams multiply their damage by your fire rate. Oh, god damn. Yeah, you're right. So, this is... It's not just... It's, it's times 2.05 and times 1.7 in two separate checks so they stack what up fella why do you spam it because it doesn't use much ammo makes it a lot I more guess. ammo efficient <clears throat> you little bitch Shock rounds, that's double beam damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Apache, I could kiss you. <laughs> One thing that's really funny is one of the one of the people that I work with um, looks really similar to Apache. So whenever I see, well, not not similar to him in general, but this picture specifically reminds me a lot of him. So it, I always like think, oh my god, is it him? <laughs> That'd be really funny. Apache uh, asked me to do the pit borders for that room, so oh, yeah, they look really good. The, the room in general just I'm, looks awesome. I'm intimately familiar with those pits. Ooh. And the pit borders aren't like a, a texture thing. No, no, they're not like a tile set thing. They're just one big texture overlaid on the room because yeah. the room's layout is always the same. So it was actually pretty easy to make. Nice. It looks really good. I still can't get over that. You, <laughs> you have uh, times two damage, times 1.7 damage, and then times two damage again. <laughs> That's like, this this is, such a this is broken beam. This is potential for breaking boss DPS cap, isn't it? Uh, potential, yeah. I wouldn't say for certain, but I would definitely I say... say you, have to, you have to deal over a thousand damage, don't you? So it might not. It, it's per bullet, and I don't know how that works with beams, you know? Yeah, that's true, actually. Like, does it mean the base damage of the beam needs to be over a thousand? Or is it, like, per second? Or what are we talking about here? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Either way, it's going to destroy the boss, but... <laughs> We just not, don't know if it's going to destroy the boss. You know what I mean? I'd say it may save ammo, but it's insufferable to listen to. <laughs> ah, fuck, I got stuff coming out. I also say that when I walk oh, into hello. a wall. A lot of the jammed. Like, this is definitely when I walk into a wall. I just, I know, I, I got stuck, guys. <laughs> no, not quite a break. Oh, 
Oh goodness. This is such a weird run. <laughs> it really I, is. I also I'm um, very disappointed that the uh the thing I'm very disappointed that the uh what's it called? The the thing grenade, the that the, the that the, the uh, intentional bomb. glitch, the corruption, corruption bomb. bomb. I'm very disappointed that it doesn't like randomly bring environmental objects to life. Yeah, that would be really cool. I mean, it can do some really wacky shit where it like transforms enemies into like NPCs and stuff. Like I, I did consider that for an item once. Like you use it, and nearby decorative objects gain AI and become companions. <laughs> Would be a lot of work. But that would to make require AI me each component to each one, though, wouldn't it? Well, the idea is that they would all use the same bog standard AI, maybe save for a few special interactions. And what I would do is that I would, uh, I'd have to figure out a way to overlay, to basically steal a sprite and overlay it onto a companion. Yeah. Which is how I would make them all look like the pots because uh, the pots and decoration because I'm not doing not doing an individual sprite for each one I learned my lesson but yeah I've considered doing that and it's like if if uh, Spoppy because Spoppy's done something similar where he made your bullets sometimes turn into companions oh, yeah, upon yeah. landing Living bullets I've seen and that, they yeah. would and they would steal the sprite of the bullet and uh, I, I might have to look into that code to see how, uh, how how he did it. But I don't know, I don't remember if that mod is still public, because I remember Sparpy's privated some stuff over the years. Yeah. So if it's not, I'll have to ask him for it. That's fair. It's okay, don't worry about it, we killed him. <laughs> that was uh, a bit horrible though, wasn't it? This is... It was a very powerful run. It was. Mirror Bullets kind of kicked it all off, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think Nesting Chest was the MVP. Nesting Chest really was, yeah. Getting three S tier items over the course of one run is pretty unheard of on vanilla. Do you know when you were asking, does modding make the game easier? Yes. <laughs> Anyhow, that was a good run. I hope you guys did enjoy. Yeah, sorry, I was just, I was just reading mod chat because when I got back from t getting my drink, uh, I said, because uh, uh, not, yeah, after the, uh, not after the drink, after the incident, yeah, with the shooting range, I, I just posted in modding chat. Uh, oops, turtle got fucky wucky. <laughs> oh god. And they're like, oh god, what is it now? And they're all freaking out, wondering what could have possibly happened. <laughs> so, that's fun. Oh, I do love it. Anyways, like, we're going to end it off? Yeah, we'll end it off here. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.